bloody mush it was. What did you find? Yeah. What? No, I, I don't know. Did you see me? Alexia, I've seen like this. But Gertie, where did this Gertie come from? You gotta respect me, period. No, you gotta respect me. Who does that? I'm actually very disappointed. I'm disappointed. I'm I, disappointed. I am more disappointed okay. than you. Well, season five of The Real Housewives of Miami is heating up with the ladies dropping a bombshell after bombshell. So we had to get the tea and who better to spill it than friend on the show, model and diva Kiki Barth. We headed to Mandrake in Miami Beach for a moment we call Tea with Kiki. Hello. Kiki, hi. hi. Good to see you. Hi, my love. How are you? I'm great. So good to see you. Thanks for having me here. I thought we'd have, you know, a nice high tea in the afternoon. You look in incredible and stunning per usual. Thank you so much. Oh, this, is, this is very beautiful. So this season, Kiki, has been awesome. You have been just so, I don't even know what the word is. Like, you're just this ball of energy and fun every episode. Wow, I feel very flattered. I'm like, oh my God. Come on, you know, you know what I'm talking about though. Don't, don't. Well, I mean, this is me in real life. Like, it's me, it's not, it's nothing for the show. Like, if you meet me on the street, whatever you see on TV, this is me. Yeah. I'm always just a, a ball of fun, always showing skin, always just being a goofball. I don't take life serious, I mean. Total I Gemini. I? Total Gemini, but so you, don't cross me. Don't, well, you might get the other twin. Yeah, it's like that. You're a friend of the show. Yeah. But you're so much more than that. I mean, describe who you are on the show and who is Kiki Bart? A lot of people have an issue with being a friend of, but for me, especially, I'm just starting. It's a way to showcase my life, showcase my showcase my, myself, like the, in the industry. Um, I'm actually very comfortable. I, I like my role. I like it. Um, I, I, I would love to be a main wife, a main cast some days, but right now, I feel like with my personal life, I'm a little bit more private. So I'm just trying like to see how I can, you know, like- Make put, it all work. Exactly. So I'm totally fine with it. Like I know some of the ladies, some of them may have a problem. Oh yeah, maybe you're trying to take our spot. I'm like, I'm not here to take nobody's spot. Well, you said you're private. I mean these shows are loved all over the world. The fans and the fandom is very supportive, but also can be very toxic. Well, I was already famous before the show. You're, but, you're, <laughs> but reality TV no, famous is exactly different. Exactly, right, that's true. Well, that back to the friend role. As a friend role, you already know you signed a contract where you're not gonna showcase your whole life. Every now and then you just give them what you feel like you're giving. As a friend, you just give them what they want. You control the narrative, you know? And I was super scared because I was such a private person. Like even with modeling, like I will model and then, but nobody know. Like you don't even know I have a son. Right. Exactly. Nobody know. The show don't know. What kind of mom is Kiki Barth? Kiki is a fun mom. I'm the type of mom be like, oh, hey, of course I'm not vulgar around my kids because I know I'm very vulgar. I'm not vulgar, but I'm very like, Open. Sexual and open. Of course, I'm not like that because he's a boy. But if he was, if my son was a girl, I would have totally be like, oh, look, touch here. Or like, like it's okay, it's okay. You're comfortable around your kids, so they can be comfortable around you. But no, my son and I, we have an amazing relationship. He's 17 years old, so he's like a full-on teenager. And but then again, both of their dads are, are not in my life, so I have to be the tough mom too. So I'm the fun mom. But when it comes to play that dad role, like, hey, I just give you that Haitian look, don't do that, stop. Even my little daughter, like three, three, three years old, I look at her a certain way, she just went like this. She knows. Yeah, so. No, you left home at such a young age. I left Haiti 13 years old. Wow. I came here and then I stayed with my stepmother and at 15 years old, she didn't want me in the house, and it was because I didn't do anything. It was because of a reason, like give me a reason, something. It she was just, just abandoned you. Yeah, but it's a thing in the, in the Haitian culture where stepmother always clashing with 
Is it jealousy? Stepdaughter. I believe so. Emotionally, Kiki, because I mean, like, here you are, a young girl, impressionable. 15 is very young. You left Haiti at 13. Yeah. 15 years old, you're pretty much thrown on the streets. I'm always going to be fun, but there is a side of me also that's tough because, I mean, I was literally raised on the street. Mm -hmm. Like, I can literally go to a palace and sit with kings and queens, but I can also be with the homeless people and still have an amazing time. This is why I'm able to bring Burger King when everybody's eating caviar. That doesn't mean that I don't enjoy caviar, but I can enjoy both. And that's me. That's you. And it doesn't matter like who, I, who I'm sitting with. I'm just, I'm able to do both. So when she kicked me out, I'm on the street, I had to survive. And when I came, when she did this to me, I was very upset with my father because my father allowed it. It's almost like she lied to him and he just said, kick her out. So I did not speak to my father for seven, no, 10 years. What has that healing looked like for you then? Because we see you now on the other side of it. You've had a successful career, you're yeah. a mom. Having that vantage point as a mother, looking back on your parental figures in your life, you've had to forgive them, obviously. Yes. What did forgiveness look like for you? It took a lot for me to forgive my dad and my main source of motivation is my mother because I'm an only child that's another thing people don't know about me like I'm an only child and my mom cannot have any more kids so how I survived on the street was my mom I have to make sure that my mom is okay if something happened to me there is no way my mom's gonna make it so I, I could have been a prostitute I choose not to do that I could have been in jail I choose not to do things that's gonna make me end up in jail I could have been a drug dealer I could have been anything but I chose to remain stable for the sake of my mother. How do, that's a lot of pressure for someone so young. You grow up so quickly and you, and you really don't have the time to be a young adult or have your parents be what they're supposed to be for you because you're protecting them. Yeah. It's a lot. It was tough. It was very... <laughs> it's okay. No, it was, it was very, very tough and just... And, not only that, I had to depend on, yeah. like I had to depend, no, my mom had to depend on me. So imagine 17, 18, you're still trying to figure your life out and then now you still have to find a way to make money to send to your mother because... You're all she has. Yeah. There's people watching right now, Kiki, that get that, that understand that, you know, that identify with that. Up. <laughs> Modeling has been a gem for you. You yes. have had an incredible career throughout the pain, throughout everything that you've experienced that built you up to enter an industry that hasn't been kind to beautifully dark-skinned women. That's true. Um, who hasn't readily opened doors for beautiful women of color. Right. Yeah, you stepped through those doors and conquered. It wasn't easy in the beginning. It was not easy. It took a lot of strength, it took a lot of hard working. You have, to, like I went to so many castings, I got rejected. Um, I remember I was working with people for free, like literally just to get myself out. It's like you have to, it's like social media, you have to bust your butt to become an influencer nowadays. You don't just open a page and then you have two followers. You have to keep posting and creating content and stuff. So that was kind of like me without social media back You're then. You're building like a I'm, career. Exactly. And then, you know, when you're looking for something and you're positive about it, eventually you're going to connect with the right people. And that's exactly what happened. And I got signed. And then it's just been like modeling is all I know. Like, that's how I make a living. That's how I ended up on the show. If it wasn't for my modeling career, I wouldn't be on the show. Because when they cast me, they cast me as the model that's coming in on the show. What do you say to those young girls, those young Haitian girls that see you? or these young girls here in Miami that want to embark on a career of modeling and they are dark, they are darker complected and they are told that no matter, they're told that even though yes, we have social media and we have all these images of, of black and black is beautiful, that those images are performative, that when you get into the rooms, you're still told that you're ugly. You're still told yeah. that your hair is nappy. You're yeah. still told that you are too curvy. You're too sure. dark. How do you inspire them? Well, listen, just don't give up because it was, I, it was tougher back then. And if I can do it, it was so tough. And I break that pattern in that circle. You just have to believe in yourself, focus and don't give up because if this person don't want you, 
just because your hair looks certain way does not mean that the next casting director is not gonna want you. Any, any, anything you can dish on where we see Kiki going for the rest of the season? For the rest of the season, you're gonna see a lot of twists and turn, a lot of, it's a lot happening. There's even like a dynamic where the group split at the end, and I cannot wait for you guys to see it. Like you Ooh. have to watch it, like <laughs> literally split. Me and Gertie had our good, cute little Haitian moment, which I'm, I'm proud of because that's all I want. To, I want to be able, like, with two beautiful Haitian women. On a huge platform that exactly. should have that representation. Exactly. It's, it's coming. It's coming. But no, it's so much more, like, you think you've seen it? You haven't seen anything yet. You haven't yet. seen anything yet. Oh, we're told the Bahamas. Well, look, a new episode's airing tonight. Yes. <laughs> lots of drama, lots of fun, and lots of you. And that's the tea. And that's the tea, boo, and we can drink to that. Of course. Mm.